Sarah Sackley Fulman disappeared. At the World Food Program, she is awarded the Nobel Peace Prize. And next, she's over. Published the CDC World Service, the world's leading station. So every weekday we speak to people at the heart of the story and take you beneath the headlines to understand the story. Today we begin with the UN's World Food Program, joining former US President Barack Obama and education activist Malala Yousafzai in being named the winner of the Nobel Peace Prize. But what does that mean? Well, the committee said the WFP has run because its actions are providing force in efforts to prevent the use of hunger as a weapon of war and conflict. With some sense of the work we are going to do, I've been speaking to Hadiya. She is a Syrian. She said to Iraq when she was diagnosed with leukemia. Seven years on, and after living in a tent for four years, she now has a room and lives with her children and her husband. She tells us the World Food Program gives her food and cash to spend in the camp. But we'll hear from a Malawian farmer who's in tent with the WF. CDC News. Hello, I'm Paul. Armenia and Azerbaijan are holding their first direct talks after nearly two weeks of renewed fighting over the disputed territory of Nagorno-Karabakh. Negotiations are taking place in Moscow, mediated by the Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov. In a televised address to the nation, Azerbaijan's President Ilham Aliyev said Baku was giving Armenia a last chance to resolve the conflict peacefully. He has vowed to accept only the restoration of all territorial integrity. From Moscow, he wrote, Russia has been trying to take a two-track approach, really, to Armenia and Azerbaijan.